Concrete's everywhere. But half the stuff people say about it, dead wrong. Let's set the record straight. Myth number one, concrete dries to get hard. This one comes up all the time. People think concrete gets hard by simply drying out, like mud turning into dirt, but that's actually not how it works. Concrete hardens through a chemical process called hydration. When cement, which is one of the main ingredients in concrete, mixes with water, it reacts chemically, not just physically, to form a hardened mass. That reaction is what makes concrete strong. If concrete dries out too quickly, it can actually stop curing properly and end up weaker. That's why crews often spray it down with water or cover it with curing blankets, especially in hot or windy weather. So no, it's not just drying out, it's curing. And that's a big difference. Myth number two, concrete and cement are the same thing. People use these two words interchangeably, but they're not the same. Cement is just one ingredient in concrete. Think of it like baking a cake. Cement is the flour, concrete is the full recipe. Cement, sand, gravel, or crushed stone, and water. Sometimes you'll also have additives like fly ash or fibers, depending on the job. So when someone says that cement sidewalk looks great, they technically mean concrete. You don't walk on cement, you walk on concrete. Myth number three, concrete gets stronger forever. This one has some truth to it, but it's not the whole story. Concrete does continue to get stronger over time thanks to ongoing hydration. Even months or years later, concrete might still be gaining small amounts of strength. But here's the real deal. Most of the strength development happens within the first 28 days. That's why a 28-day compressive strength test is the industry standard. After that, the rate of strength gain slows down a lot. So while it doesn't stop completely. It's not some magical never-ending process. A year-old slab isn't that much stronger than it was after the first month. Myth number four, you can pour concrete in any weather. Concrete is tough, but it's not indestructible, especially when it's still fresh. A lot of people think you can pour it anytime, anywhere, but the truth is weather plays a huge role in how a pour turns out. In hot weather, concrete can set too quickly, leading to cracking or a weak finish. In cold weather, if the water in the mix freezes before it cures properly, it can destroy the structural integrity of the slab. And pouring during a rainstorm, that can wash out the cement content right at the surface and ruin the finish. That's why good crews plan around the forecast, adjust the mix design, or use things like accelerators, heaters, or curing compounds to adapt to the conditions. Myth number five, cracks mean bad concrete. Let's be real, everyone's seen cracks in concrete and assumes something went wrong. But guess what? Almost all concrete cracks. Concrete shrinks as it cures and dries, and that shrinking creates stress. If that stress isn't controlled, it cracks wherever it wants. That's why we use control joints, those lines cut or tooled into the surface to guide where the cracks happen. Random cracking, that might mean poor joint placement, curing issues, or a bad subgrade. But the presence of cracks alone doesn't automatically mean the concrete was bad. Some of the best slabs out there have cracks, they're just managed correctly. Concrete is one of the most used materials on Earth, but also one of the most misunderstood. Hopefully we cleared a few things up today. Thanks for watching.